Is something wrong? It's been a normal day. That's a problem, clearly. We don't have normal days here, Mike. And when we do, it means something's coming. Or maybe we should just appreciate how normal the day has been. We helped some kids, archive some Bible stories, found an animal sanctuary for those raccoons living in the air duct. I'm gonna miss those little guys. Me too. So it's been a good day. Doesn't mean something's coming. <sighs> Whoa! Who is that for? I have no idea. I found it just sitting in the hub. There's no tag on it, and no one I asked knows anything about it. So, what should we do with it? Yeah, 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 you told me so. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Mike, and this is the time we learned how to be good people. Well, I guess I can tell the Whatnots group where all the wrapping paper went. So this isn't your gift? Uh, yeah, no, 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 I've never seen this before. I don't know who it could belong to. We've checked with everyone else in the building. Well, you know, we could just uh, open it, take a peek inside. Mike! It might be the only way we can figure out whose it is. What if someone forgot it here? And they're spending all their time looking for their box and every place they go they just can't find it and they're retracing their steps and they're just Jayden, going crazy. I don't think anyone's gonna forget a gift this big. Fair enough. And Mike, Tony, I know your intentions are good, but this isn't our gift to open. It belongs to someone. It would be wrong to open it without permission. You're right, you're right. Sorry, got carried away. It's all right, let's just leave it here. I'll make some calls and see if I can track down who it belongs to. Why don't you guys take a look around HQ, see if we've missed anybody? Meet back here when we're done. We're on it. Hey guys, I think I figured out. What happened? Hey guys. How's it going? I'm fine. Totally, totally fine. Couldn't be better. <laughs> okay, so none of you know what happened to the gift downstairs? It wasn't me, it was them. It wasn't my fault. Hey, no, 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 these two guys roped into this, okay? Oh, wait, yeah. are you the one? So all three of you are responsible? No. no. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Each of you are gonna tell me what happened. So this is how they're two are the oh, evil oh, mastermind. Oh, oh, hey. One at a time. Mike, why don't you go first? Okay, so here's what happened. Boom! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's going on in here? Mike, you're the only one that can help us! There's a puppy in there, and we think it's gonna run out of air! Uh, puppy? <laughs> don't worry, little guy. We'll get you out in no time. Now, Mike, you definitely didn't have on sunglasses and a cool jacket. And I never said there was a puppy in the box. You said something like that. You said there was something in the box that needed saving. You two wrote me into this. I'm a good person. I would never open somebody's gift for no reason. You- But Mike. Hmm? You just admitted to opening the present when we all agreed it would be wrong to do so. But, 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 but. No, this isn't about them, Mike. This is about you. I guess I really messed up. We all do. We all sin sometimes. That's why it's important to remember. Everyone sins, but God's grace wins. Everyone sins, but God's grace wins. That's right. It's easy to think of ourselves as good people, but none of us are perfect or holy like God is. We're all in need of God's forgiveness. That's what God's grace is all about. Thanks for helping me see that. Got some apologies to make. Now, Jaden. Huh? It's time to hear your side of the story. 
But he just admitted. Well, that was about him. This is about you. Okay, well. <gasps> Tony! What are you doing? Alyssa told us we weren't supposed to touch this box. <gasps> it's okay, Jaden. Give me a hand. There's something alive in here. Alive? Are you sure? I am positive. It was making noises earlier, and if it's alive, we need to make sure it's not running out of air. Okay. Well, since I am such a good person, I can't just leave it in here. Whoa, whoa, what are you guys doing? Mike, do you want to help us? There's something alive in here and we don't want it to run out of air. Run out of air? <gasps> don't worry, little guy. We'll get you out of there in no time. Jaden, I never said that I was sure that something was alive in the box. Yes, you did. Why else would I have helped open it? So you admit you helped open it? Yeah, I guess I messed up. But I thought since Tony was opening it, I could too. But I felt guilty the whole time. I should have just listened to that feeling and stopped. But I didn't. I feel really bad about what I did. Jaden, will you say a verse with me? Sure. Okay, it comes from the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 23. Say it like this. Romans 6, 23. Romans 6, 23. For the wages of sin is death. For the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. But the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. It's normal to feel bad when we sin and do something wrong. When we sin, our forever friendship with God dies and we're separated from Him. That's what the wages of sin means. But when we accept God's grace, His forgiveness, our forever friendship is brought back to life. It's so good to know that no matter what bad things we've done, God wants to forgive us and be friends with us. I know. It's the best news we could hope for. Uh, Tony. Huh. Oh. I know, it's, it's, it's my turn. Hey guys, I, oh, I guess I beat everyone back. <laughs> what was that? Is that coming? What is inside here? Okay, maybe I should take just a quick peek inside just to make sure there's nothing alive in here. Tony! What are you doing? Uh, Jaden, it's, it's not what it looks like. I, I just want to make sure that there's nothing alive in here. Alive? Why do you think so? Well, I heard some noises, and if something's alive in here, I don't want it to run out of air. Well, we can't risk leaving it in there. I'll help. Uh, Jaden, um, I don't think that we should... Uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you guys doing? Mike! Do you want to help us? Something's making noise inside, and if it's alive, I don't want it to run out of air. Run out of... air? <gasps> don't worry, little guy! We'll get you out of there in no time! Wait, I I'm not sure that we should, um... <laughs> Sound like we took a weed whacker to the gift. I'm just saying that I just wanted to take a peek inside the present just to make sure that everything was okay. I didn't want to rip the wrapping paper to shreds. So you helped. I didn't just help. I I got you two involved. And I'm so sorry for that, guys. I I should have set a better example. I I wish I would have been better. Mike, can I see your tablet? I know a Bible story from our archives that I think will help all three of you. Here, check this out. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. Through history and poetry How much Jesus loves me God's great story
there's no other book like this This book is alive Genesis In the beginning, God created absolutely everything, including the first two people, Adam and Eve. He placed them in a garden named Eden. They had all of the food they wanted. Nothing bad ever happened. Adam and Eve were very happy. That's because God himself was with them. God loved them so much, he came looking for them every day. Adam, Eve, where are you? When Adam and Eve heard God's voice, they ran to him. God loved Adam and Eve very much, and they loved God right back. God gave them everything in the garden to enjoy, but there was one tree they could not eat from. God said if they ate from that tree, they would die. A serpent came to Eve, but he wasn't just any serpent. He was Satan in disguise. Did God really say not to eat from any of the trees in this garden? No, that's not what he said. He said we could eat from any tree we want to, except that one. If we do, even if we touch it, we will die. Are you sure? I think God is holding out on you. He knows if you eat the fruit from that tree, you will become like him. Sounds to me like this God of yours isn't telling you the whole truth. Eve listened to what the serpent said. That was her first mistake. Then she looked at the tree God told her not to eat from. That was her second mistake. The more Eve looked at the fruit on that tree, the yummier it seemed. Soon, she wanted that fruit more than she wanted to believe and obey God. So Eve picked the fruit and ate it. Then she gave some to Adam, who ate it too. The serpent was very happy, but Adam and Eve were not. Suddenly, they realized they were naked. This time, when Adam and Eve heard the voice of God, they didn't run to him like they had before. Instead, they hid. Still, God searched for them. Adam? Eve, where are you? Over here, God. I heard you coming and I hid because I was naked. When God heard Adam's words, he was filled with a deep, deep sadness. Who told you you were naked? Did you eat from the tree I told you not to eat from? It was the woman you gave me. She gave me the fruit. It, it was the serpent. He tricked me. God was sad. He knew nothing would ever be the same. Adam and Eve disobeyed God. That's sin, and sin separates people from God. Sin had come into the world. Adam and Eve had to leave the garden God had just made for them. It was a very sad day. But even though the world would never be the same, God already had a plan to fix our broken friendship with Him. So even though this is the end of this story, it wasn't really the end at all. You see, all of this happened in the beginning. When God made Adam and Eve, they were good. They knew what was right, but they still made the wrong choice. And they passed sin on to everyone that came after them. That's why no matter how hard we try, we can't be good on our own. It's only by God's grace can we be made right with God. Everyone sins, but God's grace wins. Exactly right. That's perfect as that gift downstairs look before we got a hold of it, it is nothing compared to God's grace. That is the best gift we could ever ask for, and He gives it to us for free. I am so thankful for that. Me too. Me too. Now I think we need to apologize to the owner of the gift downstairs. Oh, about that, I, I think I know who it is. Really? Whose is it? Maurice's niece's birthdays are coming up, and I think he left the gift downstairs for their party later this week. Just explain to him what happened and offer to rewrap the present with new wrapping paper. I'm sure he'll forgive you guys. That's a relief. They're both gonna love that robot dinosaur he bought for him. Robot dinosaur? That's what's been making the noise this whole time? Hi, I'm Tony and I'm with Connect HQ. I have a verse that I wanna share with you. It goes like this. Romans 6.23. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. When we sin by doing the wrong things, our forever friendship with God dies. That's what the wages of sin means. But when we accept God's grace by following Jesus, our forever friendship with Him comes back to life. We all struggle with sin because of Adam and Eve. God created them to be good and perfect. 
but when they sinned for the first time, they passed sin onto everyone born after them. It's easy to think of ourselves as good people, but none of us are actually good. We all sin when we do things that are wrong, and we're all in need of God's grace, the forgiveness God offers us through His Son. So the next time you feel bad because you've done something wrong, just remember, everyone sins, but God's grace wins. Because of God's forgiveness, we get to have a forever friendship with Him no matter what wrong things we've done. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. This is all that's left of Mike, Jaden, and Tony's first attempt of rewrapping Marisa's niece's present. Who did they think they were fooling? Marisa's niece's present is left in pieces with creases. But at least it's not filled with cheeses and peaches. Peaches. I could have done better at rhyming. None of us are perfect, but we can all have God's grace if we choose to follow His Son, Jesus. If you want to make that choice today, all you have to remember are the ABCs. A. Admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B. Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that choice today? If so, be sure to talk about it with a parent or leader you trust. <laughs>